From ancient human hybrids to impact craters and mysterious mammoths, here are 14 shocking discoveries made in Russia. Hey guys, it's your host for today, American Eye. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to Taltanic, and if you like today's content, be sure to check out my channel, American Eye. We'll see you there. Orange Snow This meteorological phenomenon occurred in the city of Sochi in 2017. Some other countries, including Ukraine, Bulgaria, and Greece, also received the unusual precipitation. It was caused by dust and sand stirred up by storms in Africa. Meteorologists in Athens claimed it was among the largest transfers of desert sand from the Sahara to Greece. Limited Language Mandarin Chinese is usually cited as the world's most spoken language. More than a billion people actually speak it. Now consider this language from a peninsula in northwest Russia. Known as Tur Sami, there are only two people in the world who speak it. The language was first documented in the 16th century, but has never been thoroughly studied. Its rapid decline started in the 1930s when the Soviets banned its use in homes and schools. That made most of the Tur Sami people switch their language to Russian. By 2010, only two individuals were known to speak it. Mysterious Megalithic Monuments Dolmens are megalithic tombs identified as two or more vertical stones that support a horizontal capstone or table. Around 3,000 of these structures have been located in the mountains of southern Russia that date to the 4th millennium BC. Some experts think that they may have had some spiritual significance or were used to store jewelry or metal objects. Their exact purpose remains a mystery as do the people who built them. Whoever they were, they built a lot of these structures. More and more of them are constantly being discovered. Ancient Armor Like several subjects on our list, this Bronze Age discovery was made in Siberia and is thought to be about 4,000 years old. Researchers unearthed ancient armor that was composed of horse, deer, and elk bones. Because it was buried separately, the protective guard was probably a trophy intended for an elite warrior. Experts say it likely served as protection for a Siberian warlord and remained in perfect condition. But there are few bones of contention as to who buried the suit and exactly why it was buried. One thing is certain, whatever elite warrior suited up in that armor would have been well protected from the bronze weapons at that time. Bolivara Sibiricum It only measures 0.6 microns, but that's enough to qualify as a giant virus. Experts say that the pathogen was located in the permafrost of Siberia, where it's been sleeping for the past 30,000 years. It was discovered in Russia's Kolyma region, and it was the fourth ancient virus found there since 2003. Researchers say the sudden discoveries could be linked to climate change and rising temperatures. As ancient ice thaws, it can release viruses that could be dangerous. These prehistoric bugs seem to be larger and more complex than their modern-day counterparts. Scientists say it could be useful to awaken the virus to determine if it poses any kind of threat to humans or other animals. Maybe it's best to let this thing keep snoozing. Pickled Revolutionaries Vladimir Lenin was known as a Russian revolutionary who led the Soviet government from 1917 until he died in 1924. Today, his body remains on display at a mausoleum located in Moscow's Red Square. By most accounts, the former leader's body remains in remarkable shape. The near pristine condition is a result of many pioneering embalming methods developed over the decades by a dedicated group of scientists known as Lenin's Lab. Many people think Lenin's remains are looking better and better with age. That's pretty remarkable considering that his body is nearly 150 years old. The whole story. Impact craters are circular depressions created when space debris like asteroids slam into planets at hypervelocities. They can certainly be huge ancient formations. The Papigai crater is a good example. It's found in Siberia and measures about 100 kilometers or 62 miles wide and is considered to be the world's fourth largest verified impact crater. Experts say that when a meteor blasted into the carbon-rich area 35 million years ago, it created immense pressures and temperatures. Those forces actually transformed the carbon into diamonds. But these so-called impact diamonds have never been mined. Experts say that much minerals have industrial uses, but they're not suitable as gems. Even so, the area is said to contain trillions of carats of them. Whale Bone Alley At Tigran Island located in the frozen Siberia has become a hot destination for tourists. In 1976, archaeologists discovered bowhead whale bones over 600 years old standing in the ground and running parallel for 1,800 feet along the northern shoreline. The so-called Whale Bone Alley consists of carefully arranged whale bones and skulls, stones, and a large number of meat storage pits. It's thought that indigenous tribes have used the site as a shrine or for sporting contests and initiation rituals. Russian Mystery Beast In 2006, the skeleton of what some thought was a prehistoric plesiosaur was found by soldiers on the shores of Sakhalin. It has a body that measured around 20 feet long or 6 meters and had sharp teeth and fur. 
Its appearance caused enough concern that the Russian special forces were called in to remove the remains and conduct an in-depth study on the creature. Examinations of the mysterious animal revealed that it once had a crocodile-like mouth along with very sharp teeth. But tests on the teeth and bones showed that the animal wasn't a fish, and it didn't turn out to be a lost plesiosaur either. So what was it? If you know, tell us in the comments. Mysterious Massive Moose Did you know that in 2011, a moose was discovered in the southern Ural Mountains of Russia? While that might not be shocking, this particular moose was actually a stone structure that was discovered by satellite imagery measuring some 275 meters or 902 feet. The geoglyph left archaeologists scratching their heads. Analysis of more than 40 small tools located near the formation suggests that it would have been created as early as 4000 BC. That would make it one of the oldest examples of land art ever discovered and would predate the famous Nazca line of Peru by centuries, but the geoglyph's exact purpose remains a mystery, as does the culture that created it. The Russian Stonehenge Its name is Archaim, and it's an archaeological site located in the southern Ural Mountains that dates to the 17th century BC. The ancient settlement was a fortified stronghold that covered some 222,000 square feet or 20,000 square meters and contained dozens of structures. The dwellings are formed into two circles that are divided by a street. At one point, an estimated 2,500 people may have sought asylum in Archaim. The site draws comparisons to Stonehenge because most experts believe it was used for astronomical purposes, but Archaim may have been more advanced than its better known counterpart. My name is Yuka. In 2010, hunters in Siberia found the remains of a woolly mammoth. After turning it over to scientists, they estimated that the animal's carcass was over 39,000 years old, but it was perfectly preserved thanks to being frozen in the ice for so long. The critter's shaggy coat offers proof of that. Experts say it's nearly as ginger as it would have been when the beast was alive, and other parts of its anatomy, including the eyes, foot pads, and internal organs remained intact over the period. Named Yuka, the animal was estimated to be between 6 to 8 years old and stood nearly 10 feet tall or 3 meters. Researchers noted that the mammoth had wounds that were probably left by a primitive saw-like tool. That suggests that humans preyed on them and may have had a role in their extinction. Did you know that isolated populations of woolly mammoths went extinct as recently as 4,000 years ago? They were larger than modern elephants and could weigh around 16,000 pounds or 7.3 metric tons. Ancient Human Hybrids Depending on the source, the Denisovans can either represent a human subspecies or an altogether separate species that went extinct. That status is still under debate. Evidence of these hominids were discovered in 2010 in the Denisota Cave in Siberia's Altai Mountains. A finger bone fragment from a female dated around 41,000 years was shown to be genetically distinct from both Neanderthals and modern humans. That suggests that both Denisovans and Neanderthals interbred with humans and that the cave remains may have belonged to a hybrid specimen. Their appearance is still unclear, but scientists think that Denisovans had a robust build, similar to Neanderthals. Did you know that various peoples, including Australian Aborigines, have documented to possess as much as 5% Denisovan DNA? The Dyatlov Pass Incident A mysterious attack occurred in 1959 that has no concrete explanation. A group of nine experienced ski hikers was trekking through the northern Ural Mountains. Having an established camp, they settled into rest. At some time during the night, an event occurred that caused the group to suddenly flee their campsite, then suggested that the hikers tore their way through the tent without adequate clothing for the heavy snow and freezing temperatures. All members of the group were later found dead. Six perished from hypothermia. The other three died of injuries sustained from vicious attacks. Many theories have been presented to explain the fatalities. That includes some outlandish ones like Yeti attacks and military involvement. The official conclusion was that the hikers' death were due to an unknown compelling force. What do you say? Wow. <laughs>